Welcome to the Sales Acceleration Show. I'm an absolute believer that design will make you sell more because I believe if something's beautiful, people <coughs> tend to trust it more. So what I've done is I've invited Lorena, who is a top designer, to come and speak about sales design, marketing, everything around it. So Lorena, before we go there, maybe you explain our viewers what you do. Well, first I want to start with explaining how I got into design and why I really find it my passion and what why there's nothing more that I um, like to spend my time cool. with. Cool, it. So, uh, at some point when I was studying interior architecture, because that's my background, uh, we got this assignment and we needed to design a kitchen. So everyone started with materials, uh, functions, etc. So what my question was, was, okay, so if we have all these this different functions, we have like the sink, we have like fire plates, uh, we have the fridge, and we have these materials, and what then? Who is going to use the materials? Who is going to? How much time will they spend in the kitchen? Mm. What is the vibe that we want so the people to the, feel? The, the user first, actually. Customer exactly. experience, exactly. like I say it like that. Number one. And I think with this explanation, we've like made a recap of what I think that, in general, people often forget is that design is about more than just looking pretty. Yes. Or making something presentable. So my intro was looking pretty, but but I agree. <laughs> it's it's. You need to get to the core. Exactly. Right. And it's getting to this core that for me is one of the things that I get most enthusiastic about when I start working with a client. It's so that's what you first ask. You say, try why? and explain why, who, why, who why. Who are you? Ha, who, who are, are you? you? What do you want to achieve? Yeah. Where do you want to go? Uh, what is it that you are expecting me to do? Yeah. And often I get questions like, I need a logo and I need colors. Yeah. Because that's what everybody I need slides. Knows. That's how I started about it. I need new slides. They exactly. are ugly. Can you fix them? Below the first layer of the slides is what's the content of this slide? Yeah. And what do you want people to remember of your slide? Because it will be filled with a lot of mm. things, but it goes much further than just layouting something. Yeah. It's more like analyzing an old si a whole situation and looking it, for... It needs to fit. Exactly. So the, the one thing I noticed, because you did my slides, and we'll show them on the movie, by the way, um, is when I do presentations, I'm on stage, I see a lot of people taking pictures. And what I noticed, we completely redesigned, overhauled the slides. We made them look really pretty, like yeah. one concept and all of that. Suddenly I had like double the amount of people taking pictures and actually posting it. And actually I got comments on LinkedIn like, this is a really nice way of showing da da da, -da which for me is actually the package of what you did for me, right? But that's personal branding. I think we need to make a difference between personal branding and corporate. So let's, let's imagine I'm a company not yes. Michael, but I'm a company, 20 people, I'm a, I'm a software company for, for whatever reason, and I want to do, I want to start with this. I'm looking at it, I've been making my own slides, and I had some logos, and then I think I need to do something. What happens next? So I, I find you. If you, well, if you find me, I say hello because I'm glad you found me. <laughs> because you're, you're a nice person. Exactly. Uh, and then later, uh, we start with a conversation, and yeah. you tell me what your road has been you so far. You start digging. Digging, exactly. Because for me, to be able to make something for a company or make a branding fit, yeah. I need to really understand what you are about, what yeah. your goals are. But the company, so it's, it's a mix between company. personality exactly. and, and company. Exactly. Okay. But with company and personality, it's we need to translate the values, but in such a manner that the people who need to uh, bring out the, for example, you have a company and there's one person who will make presentations, then the the, you know, the content of the presentation or the visuals need to fit the uh, message of the company, yeah. but in such a manner that the person who will make the presentations or will, who will talk with other people, mm -hmm. who will bring out yeah. the company, needs to feel at ease with whatever he is presenting, yeah. because it's a combination of the two. That's a mix, yeah, you, you're almost getting to storytelling also, but, but one of the things I would flip this a bit differently, one of the things I've seen with a lot of sales, they are not proud about the material they are presenting and I think if you have really nice things, I know what you just said about nice, then they tend to are proud to show it and they'll show and explain it better. Let, let me flip the question differently. What should I not do? What you should, n a problem that I see most uh, a lot of times is that people start making things because they need it tomorrow. Yeah, like a little campaign or I need exactly. a Facebook post. Exactly, yeah. which is also uh, important because yeah. I'm a startup for myself. We've been working for three years and sometimes you just need to make acceleration. Yeah. And one of the main uh, problems is that you start making things without forgetting, uh, with forgetting the bigger picture. Yeah. And you start like 
making all these different things that at some point like don't align yeah. again. So different colors, I mean... Different colors and you, it needs to go fast, so you use different font or you, yeah. you use different words that normally you wouldn't use and at, after a while you see that people get confused. It becomes a mess. Because there's no, there's no chord, there's no like yeah. frame that captures everything and it's difficult to understand who who is the person who is in front of you yeah. or what's the yeah. what is the this concept company? is almost broken or it's like spread out yes you yeah. almost like it could be schizophrenic because yeah. you feel that there are different sides of the yeah. the the product or the service or the company you have in front of you and it gets like difficult to understand who mm. you are uh, having your conversation with i'm actually helping another business and they are uh, experts in testing color so if packaging if color so imagine you go to shop and you find the same candy bar with two different colors and they calculate it. If that's not properly done, they have to, to an impact of two to three percent on revenue of just only the colors that are not exactly the same but thing. Because are, people are, don't trust yeah, it. But it's really crazy. It, yeah. Another thing is psychology is a huge part of design. Yeah. One of the reasons, uh, one of the trends, for example, in retail design, it's not in graphic, it's more in, in space, is the cash desks where you pay nowadays mm -hmm. are at the back of the store. Yeah. Which sounds kind of not logical because it takes you a lot of, you need to see the whole store. Yeah, the, but the logic, you so, see all the products. So at first you would think, well, a lot of people then buy less things because they need to go to the back of the store to pay. So they look around in the store and then they, left, they leave. But what happens is that the revenue of stores get like 25 uh, twenty five percent more because people spend all this time and they 're not aware of the fact that they need to pay it, so when you enter a store and the first thing you see is your cash disk and you need to pay you your, your whole yeah. journey will partly be with everything i i 'm taking off the shelves will be something that I need to uh, spend money on yeah. so by putting it on in the back, yeah. you get this whole different kind of experience, mm -hmm. which is also a big part of how your business I, can grow yeah I agree. So, because we need to wrap it up. So, one thing, be consistent. Exactly. Something else? Keep going. Keep going. Keep going, be consistent, don't be afraid, but just keep going. I would exactly. Say. Good. With that, if you like what you've heard, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for a lot more. Thanks, Rowena, for joining. Thanks for having me.